Using the book Sew Lingerie, I'm making a lace bralette with the Margot bralette pattern. This is included in the book along with other lingerie and swimwear patterns. I'll be sewing mine without the front closure since I couldn't find one the right size. To mirror the lace, I'm cutting out one pattern piece and then I'll flip that and align it with the matching lace detail and cut out the second piece. The back band and cups are lined with power mesh for support. Matching the notch, I'm sewing the cup pieces right sides together. Sewing with a straight stitch and then finishing the seam off with a serger. Using a nylon setting, I'm pressing the seam to help give it shape. To sew the decorative lace edge on the cup, I'm pinning the pieces right sides together and sewing that on with a zigzag stitch. To enclose the seam line and give the cup support, we're using Pico Elastic and placing that over the seam. I have the decorative edge of the Pico facing towards the decorative lace cup edge. This is sewn down with a zigzag stitch close to the decorative edge. To finish off the Pico, I'm flipping the seam to the inside and then sewing closely along the flat edge of the elastic with a zigzag stitch. With the cups finished, these will be placed right sides together with the back band and sewn together with a straight stitch. The seams are then finished off with a serger. To finish off the top edge of the project, I'm using Pico Elastic. This is placed right sides together against the lace with the flat edge of the Pico lining up against the top edge. To sew this on, I'm using a zigzag stitch close to the decorative edge of the Pico, but not over the decorative edge because this will be flipped to the right side revealing the frilly detail. Once that has been stitched on, we will trim off the lace fabric close to the zigzag stitch. This will give a clean finish to the Pico elastic. On the same nylon setting on my iron, I'm pressing the Pico towards the right side of the project. This step isn't necessary, but it does help keep everything in place. Lastly, we will be stitching close to the flat edge of the Pico elastic with a zigzag stitch. For the band elastic, I've surged the edges together and tacked down the seam to one side. It didn't come out perfect, but that's okay. I've placed the seam in the elastic on the side seam of the bralette so it's less noticeable. With a quarter inch overhang, I'm pinning the bottom edge of the bralette to the band elastic and meeting the cups in the center close together. To sew on the band elastic, I'm using a three-step zigzag stitch about a quarter inch wide. A three-step zigzag stitch has three stitches that make up each of the diagonal lines. This is a secure stitch that still allows for stretch.
With a pin, I've marked the midpoint of the band elastic and done the same with the bottom lace edge. The bottom lace detailing is angled up so it's close to the decorative edge on the front and then angles downward on the sides. Except for the front, the elastic overhangs the lace by a quarter inch. Like the top edge of the band, this will be sewn on with a three-step zigzag stitch. And then I'm just trimming off the excess lace. For the bra straps, we are taking 4 inches of bra strap material and putting it through a ring. This will cover the ring wrong sides together with the main side of the elastic facing outwards. This is placed on the back side of the bralette with a half inch overhang. These will be sewn down with a straight stitch, going over it several times to make sure it's secure. My back stitch button is in the view of the camera, so my hand is definitely blocking part of that view. And here just trimming off the excess material for a clean finish. Taking the longer portion of the bra strap elastic, we will be putting that through the slider. The right side of the elastic will go over the bar of the slider. With a 3 4 inch overhang, this will be sewn down with a straight stitch going over it several times so it's secure. I have my needle set to as far as it goes to the right side so I can get as close to the slider as possible. Trim off any excess material that's left. Working with the raw edge of the bra strap that is opposite to the slider, this is facing wrong side up and going through the ring on the back. This will then loop over so the right side is facing up and be put through the slider creating an adjustable strap. The raw edge will then be sewn onto the front of the bralette. After trimming off the excess pico elastic at the front bra edge, the bra strap material will overhang a half inch down into the bralette. This will be sewn down with a straight stitch going over it several times so it's secure. There will be two stitches, one close to the top of the bralette edge and then one more stitch a fourth inch below that. All that's left is trimming off the excess bra strap material below the last stitch. Thank you so much for watching and if you'd like to see more tutorials like this, don't forget to like this video, leave me a comment, and subscribe.